How likely do you think a dollar reset is? Well, if they pass a, another three trillion dollar stimulus, which is not really a stimulus, it's another giveaway. Um, I think we're in big trouble. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. Silver demand seems to be outstripping supply more and more. And my silver dealer, Tim Marshner of the Coin and Stamp Shop in Manchester, New Hampshire, sees big trouble ahead. But before we get to Tim, I wanted to mention a couple things. One, if you could hit the thumbs up on this video, I would really appreciate it. The likes help my video get the word out on stacking gold and silver. Before I went to Tim's, I got a DM on Instagram from someone I knew in the community who wanted to sell some gold. Quarter ounce American gold eagles. Now, I'm not looking to you know, get a whole lot of these fractional coins, but he said, Yankee, how about you know around spot? And that's what it turned out to be, close to spot for quarter ounce gold eagles eagles so this was such a great deal i had to take advantage of it check it out all right sweet i haven't been stacking quarter ounces okay of american gold eagles but you know it's gold <laughs> here let you count that while i while i stare at this <laughs> You still have your stack though, right? You're not oh, yeah, getting yeah, rid yeah. of everything, right? If I need to liquidate some of it, I can, but um, that's really what we want on. In a pinch, or like right now, I'm trying to advertise my mm -hmm. music. So that's when I'm selling these off. Good for you. Yeah, appreciate yep. it. Thank you for this. Uh, thank you. And that is a great way to cut out the middleman when it comes to purchasing gold and silver. Not that you can always cut out a dealer, either online or IRL, but let me tell you, if you can, you can save some big money. Check out Facebook Marketplace, OfferUp, Instagram. Try to build a network where you can offer your fiat currency for gold and silver from people that need the cash. Definitely test the metals, all right? I, you know, weighed the gold. But if you can find someone that you can trust, it's a great way to buy silver and gold. So now, why don't we check out Tim Marshner at the Coin and Stamp Shop to hear some of Tim's wisdom. That's we have a dollar reset. It's going to be very, very damaging to a lot of people. How likely do you think a dollar reset is? Well, if they pass a, another $3 trillion stimulus, which is not really a stimulus, it's another giveaway, um, I think we're in big trouble. I like to look at stimulus as two things. It's either UBI or corporate welfare. They are not going to stop giving people money. You can't pull this back. No, you can't, but it's, it has having absolutely minimal effect on the economy. Well, I have no argument there. And it's, you know, I'm, you know, most of your followers, if they get one of those checks, they're going into a local coin shop and buying gold and silver. <laughs> if they're smart. <laughs> yeah, I think the stimulus is here to stay. And that's not good for the real economy. That's good for papering over a fake economy and making it look good. Yeah, absolutely right. I mean, yeah. there's, there's, there's no input to the economy, none whatsoever. You well, know, some people argue that, saying it's easy for you to say, Yankee, this, this check is huge, and the people that need it should get it. I keep saying you're, you're allowing the government to manufacture what it really boils down to a tax on our future through inflation. Well, that's where the money comes from. And they, that's why this new bill is so outrageous in the amount of taxes it, it plans to uh, squeeze out of the people. Mm, mile tax. Yeah, you, mile you, you drive. You came in, you're a stacker, right? Oh, yeah. You, you stack all kinds of silver. Yep. Yeah, you pushed me. I've, I've gotten it up to over 700 now, 700 ounces. 700 so. ounces? That's yeah, fantastic. That's, good for uh, you. Good, but I mean, how, how, what's the percentage of people that have this? when uh, the dollar falls apart from that's, all this. That's a really good point. You're one of maybe 0.001% right. or if that. It's I mean, it, it's people don't people don't get this stuff. A lot of people would like to protect themselves. They just don't know how. I get probably 20 calls a day of people asking what's the best thing to do. And, you know, it's, it's really hard to answer that. It depends on your financial situation. You know, I had a chance to renew my line of credit for the store and I decided to just pay it down to nothing. So my line of credit is in the safe. And uh, you know, it's just safe. not 
Love that city. <laughs> not going to borrow any more money because it's the it, the interest rates are too unstable. Uh, they're about to take a big increase. It, it, keep in mind, you know, we we ran the debt up to what is it, twenty eight trillion, something like that now. Um, there will come a point fairly soon where we're not bringing enough money to pay the interest on the debt. And that's that's the risk. I mean, Jerome Powell told Congress that's the risk. And, um, Didn't you know, we pass that already? With the stimulus? Yeah, well... It, Technically? It, as soon as it's spent, yes. Yeah. yeah. And the and the next one, we'll take it up to what? 31. 32, something yeah. like that. 31, 32. 31, that's, that's only part one, though. They just said that there's two parts to that. <laughs> Gonna be however much. Uh, Three or four. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, I said it's, I said 10 trillion by summer. That's what they, they said want. They said they want 10 trillion. They want 10 trillion yes, by they summer. Want 10, mm. trillion. 10 trillion. The, pro the problem is, you know, it, the economy is made up of people going to work every day. And that hasn't recovered yet from uh, all the people who lost their jobs a year ago and during the summer. Um, plus, they, are, they plan to add a million people, you know, probably by May or June, um, who, you know, come across the border. I mean, they'd like to get jobs. How many jobs are available? When you add a million people to the, uh, to the workforce, where are these jobs coming from? And they're certainly not going to be fifteen hour, fifteen dollars an hour jobs. Uh, those jobs are, you know, they're spoken for. Or um, when an employer needs five people, he's not going to pay them fifteen dollars an hour. Mm -hmm. He's going to hire mm -hmm. somebody who's um, operating under the radar, you know, for five dollars. I mentioned earlier, people ask, you know, what what should I do financially, you know, to, to protect myself? Because a lot of people don't know how to do that. I actually have a, a membership program where they ask me that and I need to dive into more of their financial circumstances. How much do they have? How much debt do they have? Oh, for that's both. really, really it's, important. You have to know that but, in order to help you know, them. The, the, the basic concepts are minimize your debt and um, put money away into mm -hmm. something that's not paper. And you would not put your money in, a, in something physical and allocated metals, and not the, unallocated. You got to be very careful when you do ETFs. Oh, yeah, They're, they are struggling with the same shortfall that they, you know, the COMEX and everybody else's you know, and the Perth Mint. Ask the Perth Mint, yeah. All the people calling into all the different stations and all the different mints. I was just listening to Andy Sheckman from Miles Franklin. He was talking about how people emailing him every day saying, I can't get my metal. They're saying three to six months fabrication. It's supposed to be in the account. We're having trouble yep. getting metal as well. You know, it's, uh, I'll drive down there every day if I have to to pick up whatever he has. Um, but it, you know, there'll come a time when the, the end is reached and um, you know, they're gonna have to get more creative. You know, one of our big suppliers, um, is not making anything. I mean, it's my favorite company. You know, what I used to get all my one ounce, five ounce, and ten ounce bars from, and all the rounds from, and they, apparently they're not making anything. There's nothing sitting in the market. What do you have now? Uh, I sh you should have asked, what did I have when I got back from the wholesaler <laughs> yesterday? <laughs> I had hundreds of one ounce rounds. I had hundreds of um, Canadian maple leaves. I had hundreds of uh, American Eagles. I uh, even had 100 ounce bars, all gone. Isn't that cool? I could listen to Tim all day. And I'm telling you right now, this is the time we need to be stacking. Don't worry about the spot price. Don't worry even about premiums. You need to stack silver and gold as much as possible. Well, I hope this video helped you out. Don't forget to like and share it around. And as always, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay. The GDP in the last year of the Obama administration was struggling to get to 50. And then... Spillage. I'm with the Yankee fan here. I won't show. What was your first name again? Will. Will. Won't show your face, but thank you for your what, support. Some, some <laughs> Yankee followers throw their money around. <laughs>